Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the class in the second lecture series on Japanese language and culture. So, in our last class, we were uh, doing te imas form, which is equivalent to the continuous form in English, the ing form of English. So, we will continue with this form and see how te form of the verb can be used uh, in different ways and can help us in conversation. So, last time if you remember, we had done this conversation. Watashi no uchi no mai ni koen ga arimasu. Watashi wa toki doki koen ni ikimasu. Koen ni takusan ki ga arimasu. Koen ni ike mo arimasu. Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Oki sakana mo chisai sakana mo imasu. So, you can see very clearly over here that ga is there. Now, what does ga show? Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Something that is happening there which you can see, which is a fact, you can state with particle ga. That is the easiest way to remember how to use particle ga. Then we have a mo, you have done this, b mo and verb. So, oki sakana mo, oki sakana also and chisai sakana also. So, this is what we had done. Now, listen to the dialogue very carefully and after that, we will do the grammar. Watashi no uchi no mai ni koen ga arimasu. Watashi wa toki doki koen ni ikimasu. Koen ni takusan ki ga arimasu. Koen ni ike mo arimasu. Ike ni sakana ga oyoi de imasu. Oki sakana mo chisai sakana mo imasu.木の下に砂場があって子供たちはそこで遊びます。お母さんたちはそばから子供たちを見ています。昨日私は友達と一緒に公園に行きました。私たちは花を見て池の前にあるベンチに座ってみんなでお弁当を食べました。とても楽しか
Now, verb in te form plus ike no mai ni aru bench ni swatte. Verb again in te form plus minna de o bento o tabe mashita. So, you said two things over here. First, mite, then swatte, and then finally, you use this verb tabe mas. So, in one sentence, you try to put in two verbs and then finally with this verb you have shown tense and you have shown finally what you did. So basically the te form over here, verb in te plus verb in te plus verb over here, this te basically is used to or helps in joining two verbs like this and this and means and. In short, we can say that it helps to give a lot of information in a single sentence. So now, before doing this te form, I will quickly revise the te imas form, which is the continuous form, which is what we just learnt over here, and then go on to doing this and something else as well. So now we can say that te imas form expresses a continuous action over a period of time. As you just now saw, time would be generally 10, 15, 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes or maybe an hour but not longer than that. Basically an action over a short period of time. So this you did last time, ima gohano tabete imas, I am eating food which is not going to last for 2 hours or 3 hours. Then shawa o abitemas, it is a short period. And then, Mariko san wa okasa ni den wa o shite imas. She is talking to her mother. Then, what else does it show? State of being or living that state. Basically, meaning being in a certain state. So, there are certain verbs you can use over here. Not all verbs will work. So, the verbs are tomodachi wa kekkon shite imas. That they are married. And not that the ceremony is continuing. So, they are living that state. They are in that state. Similarly, for this one, Watashi wa tsukarete imas. So, I am tired. I am in the state of being tired. Now, over here also you will see, Watashi wa kazoku to isho ni Tokyo ni sunde imas. Sunde imas is to live or living. So, I am living in Tokyo. So, I am experiencing living in Tokyo. So, this is a state that you are in. Now, there is something else that you can do which is some activity that is done regularly. Now, this is something new for you. For example, mainichi bus ni notte imasu yo. It means that Mainichi, I ride a bus, but here the meaning would be I take a bus every day, that I travel by bus practically every day. So, something that you do regularly, something that is a habit, a habitual action, that is what you show with the imas form. Then also you have breakfast every day, Mainichi asagohano tabemasu yo ne minasan, dakara so, no toki, mainichi asa gohan ni pan to tamago o tabete imas. Regularly as a habit, I eat pan and tamago. Pan to tamago, which is and. I am trying to repeat all that we have done earlier for you to be comfortable. Mainichi asa gohan ni pan to tamago o tabete imas. I eat every day. Then as we did last time, it expresses present state with motion verbs. Now motion verbs are iku, kuru and kairu and with this you show movement in a certain direction. So how can you show a state when the verb itself states that it is a motion verb? So let us see what it is. So it expresses a present state over here. That's what it has said. 
。と友達はうちに来ています。They have come home. So basically saying that they are present at home. So you will see that it also shows existence at a certain point, existence at a certain place, or location at a certain place, location of a person. Then we also have, for example, Shujin wa Shigoto ni itte imas. So in conversation, you can say, maybe you will understand better. Go Shujin irashai mas ka? Ah, s i m a s e n Shigoto ni itte imas. Does not mean that he is still going or in the process of going. He is not in the process of going at the moment. Action is not happening means that he is at office. So his location is where? Office. So it shows place also, it shows present state also. That where exactly are you or what you are doing. So, how to use te imas form and show continuous action, and how to use te imas form and show that you are living a state, you are in a state or at a location. So, now let us see how it can be used in past tense as well. So, Taro san wa sanjupun mai made. Gohan o tabete imashita. So we have done made as which is till. We have done as kuji kara yuji made. Till. So taro san wa sanjupun mai made. Gohan o tabete imashita. He was eating. So taro kun. Was eating food or gohan just sanjupun mai made tabete imashita in past tense. Similarly, mina san wa sanjupun mai made shigoto o shite imashita. They were working till 30 minutes back in past tense. Please remember this. Now I had given this to you last time. Put it here again so that you can compare it with the past form. And the past negative as well. This we did last time, and this time concentrate on this one. Asonde imashita, past tense positive, and asonde imasende shita, past negative. This was the sentence that we did. Kodomo tachi wa imatsunaba de asonde imas. Now this is in past tense. Here, hashitte imashita. Hashitte imasen deshita. Tabete imashita. Tabete imasen deshita. Oshiete imashita. Oshiete imasen deshita. Skutte imashita. Skutte imasen deshita. So you can、uh, practice this loudly and get the correct intonation. Now, another function of the te form is to show action occurring in a sequence. And what does that mean? We can interpret te form as and, as I told you, joining verbs like particle to joins nouns. So, by doing this, we can show more activity as we did in the first example. Like we can use more verbs and convey more to our listener in a single sentence. So, let us see how it is done. Verb in te form, well, it shows successive action in the order. It is done or performed. It happens. It helps to connect sentences and generally is equivalent to and in English. It does not take tense. Please remember, this is the most important thing. It does not take tense at all. If you remember, I had told you earlier that verb in te form actually has no meaning, it's a hanging state. Till you add something to it, it will not convey anything. And the tense is shown by the final verb in the sentence. As you saw just now in the dialogue, that koe ne itte, ike o mawatte, benchi ni swatte, gohan o tabe mashta. So finally, where is the tense coming from? From tabe mashta. That all this we did, and then finally we ate food. So the final 
verb in the sentence gives the tense. We will see this right away. Now you see over here, Watashi wa kippu wo katte densha ni nori mashita. I bought my kippu and then I boarded the train. Now see how it is happening. Vata Shiva Kippu o Kai Mas. So there is this one sentence, then Vata Shiva again you can have, and then Sha Ni Nori Mas. So two sentences in one I have given you. So what do we do? Vata Shiva Kippu o one verb and then watashi can be removed again from here then shani nori mas so i buy a kippu and then i board the train now this is a general statement so if i say watashi wa kippu o katte den shani nori mas means that is generally what i do if i say watashi wa kippu o katte den shani nori mashita then one time i did this that I bought it and then I boarded the train. So please remember the difference between mas and mashta. The meaning completely changes. Now you have this picture of a person returning home then something like studying and then sleeping. So what do we have? Watashi wa uchi ni kairimasu. One sentence. Soshite benkyou shimasu. Another sentence. Sono ato nemas another sentence. So how do we make one sentence out of this? Watashi wa uchi ni kaette benkyou shite nemas. Watashi wa uchi ni kaette te form group one benkyou shite group three and then nemas. So the tense is coming from here. This is what is written. You can see very clearly what it means. This is what I do all the time. This is a statement and not something that happened. Again, there is another example for you. Let us see what it is. Watashi wa mai asa shawa o abimasu. Soshite haha ni denwa shimasu. Second sentence. Sono ato kaisha ni ikimasu. So, shawa o abite group 2. Haha ni denwa o shite group 3. Sono ato, you can add sono ato, let it be as is, or you can remove kaisha ni ikimasu group 1. This is what I do every day. I take a shower, I call my mother and then I go to office. So after this activity, I do this activity and then finally I go to office. Now let us see what it is. Mai asa shawa o abite, haha ni denwa shite, uchi o demasu. Kaisha ni ikimasu. So, you can have this also and uchi o demas means I leave my house. So, I do these two activities and then I leave my house for wherever I have to go. Now, there is another one for you. This is just practice for you to understand te imas form and be able to use it in your sentences. So, we have shimbun. We have somebody eating food and then somebody running to probably office. Mainichi shimbun o yomimas group 1 yonde. Then asagohan o tabemas. Asagohan o tabe te group 2. Sono ato kaisha ni ikimas. Kaisha ni iki. So you can see after first activity, second activity happens and then after the second activity finally what you want to do is right here. Now let us see what it is. 
毎日新聞を読んで朝ごはんを食べて会社に行きます。Different verbs you can use, different situations you can make and practice with your partner. 毎日何をしますか is the question you can ask. 毎日何をしますか。So, 毎日新聞を読んで朝ごはんを食べて会社に行きます。And then you can describe the whole day or just this activity. If we use particle kara after te form of the verb, what does it convey? As you know, kara means from, and so it indicates the starting point. So, here as well, it is indicating a source or a starting point. Now, the source can be anything, it could be a person, it could be something else, or it could be a reason with kara. So, the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that kara indicates that the first action has to be completed for the second to take place. So, if you are using te form plus kara, then the first action which comes before kara has to be over for the second action to take place. Now, let us see how it is done. Over here, you can see there are two activities happening. One is asubimas and one is abimas. So, asonde kara shawa o abimas. So, once I have played, I am over with my playing, then only I will take a shower. Shower is not happening before this activity. So, once this is over, then only something will happen. Now, there is another one. Tabete kara okasa ni denwa shimas. So only after I have finished this activity, I am going to do this activity. Or you can say that this activity, that is activity 2, is going to happen only after the first one is over. It has been completed. So please remember with kara, always this action has to be over before you can do what follows kara. There is more practice coming. So, Rao san wa itsumo shawa o abite kara nemas. So, itsumo means always, I think we have done it earlier. Rao san wa itsumo always shawa o abite kara after taking a shower always nemas. He does not do any other activity except nemas. So, for sleeping, he has to take shower first. This activity has to be over and then only he will sleep. He will not sleep and then this activity is going to happen. Now, there are some do's and do not'ts also as happens in all languages. So, well, benkyo shite nemas. So, this activity is followed by this activity. Now, I have put kara in bracket over here and in all the other examples as well. So, over here because it is not such a strong suggestion, it is not something so important, it is not an order, it is not something that if you do not add kara, the sentence is not complete or the meaning is not conveyed. So, you can remove kara also from here. Still the meaning is the same, rao sanva itsumo shawa o abite nemas. So after taking a shower, he sleeps. Over here, you cannot remove kara. Why you cannot remove kara? Because the speaker's intention is very clear. He is determined to do something. He has told himself, he has decided that I will do this and then only I will perform this second activity. And what is the reason? The reason is, ashita shiken ga aru no de. Because there is an exam tomorrow, kyo, today, watashi wa fukushu shite kara nemas. So, you are putting importance over here by kara. And you are telling yourself that no, I cannot sleep before revising. So, this is revision. Fukushu is revision. So, I have to revise before I sleep. Because it is important to the speaker, it is his decision, he has 
told himself to do something like this, thus kara is very very important over here. In other cases, you may remove kara or may keep kara with te form. That is the only difference that you have to keep in mind that any time there is some suggestion or made by someone or made by you, something you have decided, you are determined to do something or it is a command, then kara is essential. For example, look at this one, benkyo owatte kara asobimas. So, only when benkyo is over, I will not play before that, only once it is over, then I will play benkyo owatte kara after finishing asobi mas. Remember this small difference in using and not using kara. The difference between te kara and verb te plus verb te form is that te kara indicates and focuses on order of events as we have seen just now that you do this and then you do this more on chronological order and planning of events as you saw with not being able to remove kara where you decide something and you do it of choice whereas the te form that is the verb te plus verb te plus verb form only lists events, only tells you about events as desired or as they have happened. Like in particle to which joins noun with nouns. So now we can say that verb te joins verbs in a similar manner like to joins nouns. Let us see the difference between te kara and ta kara. One is in past and one is in te form. So, let us see. Bucho no denwa ga kite kara rao san ni denwa shimas. So, kite kara. Only once his denwa comes, then I will call rao san. So, the action is not happening now. It is for the future. Something that you are going to do for the future. Something that you plan for the future. As we said earlier, something that you plan, that you do, that you decide. So, bucho no denwa ga kite kara, rao san ni denwa shimas. Now, look at this sentence. Bucho no denwa ga kita kara. Now, his phone has come. Bucho is your boss. Bucho is the head. So, bucho no denwa ga kita kara. It has come. Watashi wa ima denwa shimas or shite imas or rao san ga rao san ga ima denwa shite imas bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san wa or ga ima denwa shite imas with wa and ga different sentences are going to be made i have just written it together so please be very careful about that bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san ga denwa shite imas bucho no denwa ga kita kara rao san wa ima denwa shite i so, you can see this activity has already happened. This is over and now this activity is taking place. Nothing has happened over here, no activity and this is for the future. Once the phone comes, then I will call. The phone has come, thus I am calling now for this one. Now, you can understand this over here as well. Nihon ni itte kara nihongo o benkyo shimasu. So, once I go to Japan, then I will study Japanese. And now over here, nihon ni itta kara nihongo o benkyo shimashita. So, it is all for the past that I had gone to Japan. Thus, I studied Japanese over there. So, in this case, it is for the future and this something has happened earlier. Remember with te kara and ta kara, the difference between the two. I think it is very clear now. So, there was a word I had given over here, nan, nan and nani. What is the difference? Basically, the meaning is the same, what, but it has been seen that nan is generally used with numbers and nani with other things like adjectives and verbs. So, nani o shite imasu ka? Shite imasu 
ka nani o. So yomu, he is reading the paper. So shinbun o yonde imas. Simple continuous tense. Now if he wants to perform another activity after this, then shinbun o yonde kara something o shimas. Then nani o shite mas ka again. So haha ni denwa o shite imas. Again continuous tense. Calling my mother or talking to my mother. Now let us very quickly do some kanjis as well. You have done this kanji taberu. So I will give you the stroke order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Taberu. So the stroke order is very clear. Then there are some words with taberu so that you can uh, understand the kanji better. Tabe mono. Tabe mono means eatables. So mono is like this. One, two, three. And then just a slight mistake over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Tabe mono. So this mono can be used with other words as well like nomi mono, wasure mono, kai mono. And we are going to do these words right away with the kanji. So this kanji is nine strokes and means to eat. And here you have nomu which is very similar to taberu. You can see over here. Okay, I will make it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So that is how it is made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. No mu, which means to drink. And again, no mi, mono. So you have mono again over here. Mono, no mi and mono. No mi mas once again, very, very quickly. No mi, mono. Now we have another kanji. Kai mono. So we'll do the kau. Kau over here is like this. Me, another me, and then hito. So kau. So kai mono. So mono you already know. You know the country. I've made it a number of times already. Kai mono. Then wasure mono. So again over here, wasureru. Like this. It doesn't start from here. It starts from here and this is the sign of kokoro which is heart only the lower part. So kokoro is like this. So vasure and mono. Again mono like this and this kanji itself is vasureru. So re and over here you can write ru vasureru and vasure. Mono. Okay, I'll make it once again. Re and ru. Vasure ru. You have kau over here and vasure ru over here. Now there is this vocabulary. You can go over the vocabulary. Remember the words. There are some new verbs. And with this, I would like to finish your class over here. I think lot of uh, te form we have done. We have done the continuous te form which is te imas. Then we have also done the verb te plus verb te plus verb form which you have here in your lesson. There is lot of practice for you. Then we have also done the verb te kara form. For that also you have lot of practice and all the um, important things that you are supposed to remember. There was nan and nani also over here, some little bit of kanji. So please do all of it and digest this today and come prepared for your next class soon. So see you then. Sonotoki made arigato and mata aimashou.